So I've found a Shopify dropshipping store which has made $1.8 million and their Shopify dropshipping, we can see this look if we take a look at their shipping and delivery policy. Average transit times to the US three to six business days up to five days processing. And they are Shopify dropshipping from AliExpress, a cat toy, but they are selling it as a children's toy. So the store in question is Peachy and Pear. I discovered them on the exchange marketplace. From time to time, I like to try and find stores exactly like this basically, which are selling weird and wonderful products, tried and tested concepts, take a look at their stores, their products, their ads, and see what kind of things I can implement into my own store. So this is how I found them. They're a brilliant business. The story is awesome. So they go on to say they started the business whilst on parental leave during COVID, basically to stop them from getting bored. Um, the baby toy was discovered as a result of their eight month old at the time playing with their neighbor's cat toy. So if you've read that, you probably know what it is. It's just absolutely crazy, but it just goes to show that if you have like a weird and wonderful toy and you can market it in such a way and put it in front of the right audience, then you can make a significant amount of money. So this person is a mum, so that obviously their time is very valuable to them. They don't have that much extra time talking from experience having a young one. Um, it just goes to show you can build a dropshipping business on the size to a relative scale uh, without it consuming too much of your own time. So they quote 25 hours per week, which isn't a bad return for your money if you've turned over over a million dollars every year. And this includes running Facebook ads. So these guys are selling this product on Facebook. However, I'm going to show you their Facebook page. And I believe a lot of their content and traffic comes from, in fact, we might be able to see if they've posted it up here. Let's just take a quick look. So it's just a snapshot of their sales. These are the different channels, but it doesn't mention anything there. Uh, it's just a snapshot of their sales. 4.38% return in rate, which is about standard, to be honest, um, for a dropshipping store. This is their profit and loss, which is pretty cool. The net profit in and around, so that's 80K over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months, so about 10K a month profit. Um, net, which isn't too bad. However, they don't have a breakdown of where the traffic is coming from. So I'll show you that in a second. But basically says the time involved is running Facebook ads, um, which we talk about a lot on this YouTube channel, replying to customer emails, and keeping the website current and dealing with suppliers. The majority of that time will be customer emails. When you get to a business of that size, you probably, especially when you drop shipping, you're probably getting 10 to 20 emails every single day. So she or this person could definitely outsource the aspect of her business. We can see that results were pretty consistent, 75K, 72, 62, 88, a little bit of a dip off here. And then as we come into Q4, we can see October, $175,000, November, 300,000, and December, just over a quarter of a million. So not bad um, for Q4. I'm not quite sure why they're selling this business. When they've had such a good Q4 last year, they could do the same this year, no doubt. Um, probably because they're asking for a hefty price tag of $100,000. Um, but it just goes to show, like, don't judge a product based on your own perception. I've seen this product many times before, but I've never considered it in this with this sort of angle. And it just goes to show if you find something that has that kind of peculiar, unique factor to it, um, and you can put it in front of the right audience, you can make a lot of money. So if you are looking for a product just to take a stab at and see what happens, definitely give this product a consideration. If we just take a look at the tags, um, yep, it is an Australian based business. So if you're not in Australia, and perhaps have a go at selling this product in your local country. That being said, then let's take a look at the actual website itself. So it's kind of like a parent and toddler or baby and toddler website. They have, by the looks of it, some form of an ebook. This will just be a mock up used, um, created using um, Placeit, which is a brilliant tool if you've never encountered it before. Um, however, this is the product in question. And the reason I know it is because this product page has been built out significantly with a ton of extra information more than any of the other products they've got on their website. If we take a look at their social media pages too, um, the majority of the content, we can see this video of the fish, we can see this video of the fish. Um, these are just some meme -y things to kind of build engagement. 
Um, I believe this is the fish as well. So this is definitely the products which they're focused on. I think it even said in their description as well, in fact, um, the baby fish toy was discovered. So this is a proven multi-million dollar product, believe it or not. In itself as a cat toy, it's probably nowhere near has that sort of potential. But who would have thought that advertising it and playing it as a children's toy is where all the potential um, laid. So if I had to give you kind of like my own opinion of why this is so successful, um, and if you wanted to try and replicate it, how you should make it so successful, is because number one, it's such a feel good product that like you can't help but watch videos like this of young children having a fun time smiling. It can't help but make you feel good and make you want to smile, especially as a grandparent or as a parent to see young children having a good time. Um, definitely makes you feel good inside and makes you want to do that for your own kids um, for, and for your own grandchildren. So it has that kind of emotional marketing angle. Number two, content, content, content. If we have a look at the products listing on AliExpress, look how boring and bland that is. Even though it has a cat in it, look how boring and bland that is in comparison to this store, which has moving imagery i.e. videos um, or GIFs showing exactly how the product works, showing children having a good time using the product. That's what sells the products, not the actual product itself, but the end result. And the end result is having an entertained, happy um, child who's having fun. The product page itself is quite interesting. It doesn't follow the typical format. So if we scroll down, we can see um, they have all these different bullet points just pointing out different things about the product. They have these well-known brands um, put on their product page. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it's because they've been featured in them. So I've done a couple of searches for Forbes, Peachy and Pear, um, NBC, Peachy and Pear, and I've not found the link between them. So they may simply just be using them as a means of kind of piggybacking off the social proof of kind of stating big name brands. Um, or big name companies on their website. Everything below this is fairly standard and typical. Again, a nice image showing a child using the fish in play, smiling, having a good time. Um, when I used to sell LED dog collars, the original ones back in the day, I probably tried maybe half a dozen different creatives of demonstrating how the collar worked, but it wasn't until I actually put it on a dog and the sun was coming down and showing the dog running around the garden, having a good time, playing with its toy, it, it didn't sell up until that point. It was the actual feel good factor of somebody seeing a dog have a good time, associating that with my product. Um, and that's what kind of tipped them over the edge to click the ad and actually make a purchase. Something interesting, which I've not seen many times before is they have this kind of buy more than one, get a discount. Um, now I've seen this offered them time and time again, but not in this particular layout, um, which is quite interesting to see. So if you do have a product or consider selling this, definitely implement something like it. People who have kids tend to have friends of a similar age and probably having kids as well. So with a product like this, you never know. It might be something they might think, oh, so-and-so has a child as well, similar age. I'm going to get one for them as well. Moving down the page then, let's see what they have further down here. So just a typical image with explanation. Uh, easily rechargeable, nothing too groundbreaking there. They've got an FAQ of different questions that parents may ask about the products, which is relevant. I see this more and more actually being implemented into product pages, definitely a good strategy to use. They have the choose your bundle um, listed again, which is interesting. And then they go into their review app. I can't remember the name of this review app, but I think it may be a free one. Ultimately, it shows an image of a child using the product. It shows five stars, it shows the name of the customer, and obviously it shows their comments as well. With that being said, then let's talk about numbers a little bit and just see roughly how much profit they'll be making per sale. Um, I believe we even saw what the average order value was. I think it was, so it just says there, if you can see it, I'm not sure, it says $32. Um, they're selling each one for 26 pounds, which probably is about $32. So they're probably selling on average one per order, maybe a little bit higher. We can see here, we can actually buy the products free shipping and 15 day delivery, which is good. So we can get it to our customers. Um, fairly quick. We can obviously improve on that by looking at things 
um, other supplies like CJ or using an agent. But basically, it's going to cost about four or five quid to get it to the customer's door. And these guys are selling it for 26 quid. So there's at least 20 pound room margin in there um, for your cost of customer acquisition. And so with that being said, I'm going to end the video there. Um, we'll do a quick recap and summary, in fact, of how this store has been so successful. They've got a really unique um, quite gimmicky product to be honest but because of who the target market is and because of who the product is for and that emotional play and connection that it makes the viewer feel when they see the product being used by a young child um, it's made it super successful which ultimately in my opinion is always the best angle to have when trying to sell a product online especially on the social media platform because at least what i found when selling dog products if you can show a dog having a good time and doing something silly then people also want to share that piece of content regardless of whether they're interested in the product or not they want to share that piece of content with their friends to make them smile, to make them laugh as well. And obviously every time somebody shares your post, then you gain that extra viewership or that extra reach for free. Thanks for watching the video. If you are looking for a more in-depth tutorial that covers all aspects of dropshipping, will take you through the whole process and everything you need to do to launch your very first product and replicate similar results to what you've seen in this store, make sure you check out the free training. I've got it's 100% free, won't cost you any money. Um, and the link is down below in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.